Hey guys, what up? This is Brian Easy. I'm just coming back to you guys today with a video about which is the best way to cool your budget case. Now, I'm doing this specifically for budget cases, okay? As I know that expensive cases are going to have really good fans and they're going to be set up really well. So in my case on the left, it cost me only $50 and it came with basically five cheap fans. So on the left, we've got no cooling at all, no, no case fans at all, just a naked case at ambient temperatures. In the middle, we have our push-pull configuration, obviously with air coming in from the side and exhausting out. I'm going to put these two fans on the top and the, the air is going to exhaust out the top of the case. Then on the last, the last lucky last here, we are going to have our trusty big ass fan cooling the naked case. So we're going to test all three methods and we're going to find out which one is the best way to cool your case. Okay. And lastly, our temperature, I don't know if you can see that, but it's at 25 degrees guys. So we are 25 degrees uh, air conditioned in this room. So let's begin. First off, we're going to start off with our naked case. Okay guys, first up we have the naked case. Let's put it to the test. Okay guys, first method, let's give this a test. So we're going to run this for five minutes, maximum heat. And we're going to let real temp report our temperatures. So prime 95, maximum heat, and we are just going to let this go for five minutes. And then we're going to report back and see our maximum temperatures. So and see this is the first method naked case the first test is just about done guys so we reached maximum of 72 77 78 73 okay let's stop that okay up second guys we have our case fan setup guys so there it is there's case fan setup Okay, let's start the second test. So, maximum heat power. Now, let's get real temp going. So, this is with push pull, guys. So, let's leave that on for five minutes, maybe a little bit longer. And we'll report back with the maximum temperature settings. Okay, guys, and the second method here, we can see that after about five minutes we reach 67 72 and 74 on the one core and 69 on the last core so there we go let's try the third and final method to see what we get and now guys we have the third method which is the case with the fan oh yeah so let's give this a try shall we okay guys let's give method number three a good benching so let's give this a good hard benching and leave it on for five minutes and see how we go see what temps we come up with okay so let's just leave that running yo for five minutes Okay guys, let's stop that. So as we can see here, we got 66, 72, 72, 67. So we are on the fan method. We are pretty damn low, hey? Okay guys, so there we have it. The winner is the fan, the big ass fan cooling the naked case. However, I was surprised and I did surprise myself as I thought a naked case was a pretty good method. But it finds out that the naked case is actually the worst, even on a really cheap $50 case, which is what I have as well. I've got a cheap budget case. The uh, Obviously the fans, so there was four fans that I used additionally, so I already had one fan cooling the hard drive on the naked case. So I used the four additional fans, which were cooling, so I had the push method, so the two case fans from the side were pushing air in and the two fans on the top were exhausting air. And this method did pretty well as well, surprisingly. So, I guess I learned something as well today. So anyway guys, if you want the best cooling and you're on a budget case, then the big ass fan is what you want. So anyway guys, if this helped you, please thumbs up this video, and of course, uh, subscribe to keep the Brian easy going. Peace out for now, guys. Bye.